Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Um, I'm going to just tackle a couple of subjects, man, on, on Triple G, man. You know, it's fan base and then a bunch of uh, idiots, you know, you know, just about this whole myth to him being the most feared fighter ever and all this old type of shit. You know, one of the things that pissed me off about Triple G fans, you know, they love to say that, you know, black fans don't like Triple G because he's white and all that bullshit. First of all, I say this once, and I guess I have to keep repeating this. I don't give a fuck about Triple G's color. The problem that I have with Triple G is his selection of opponents because he tries to play this whole myth that's of everybody's avoiding him and nobody wants to fight him. But then when you get guys that raise their hand and say they want to fight him, then they ignore him. It's sort of like that shit you be in a classroom where the teacher asks a question, who wants to answer this math question? And then um, a whole bunch of people raise their hand and then the teacher will go to the one person that ain't raising their hand and ain't thinking about, you know, answering the question. And that's what Triple G and his team like to do. They like to go to the people that they know don't really want to fight him and keep saying, see, see, this guy's avoiding me. Oh, he doesn't want to want to fight me. But then when people raise their hand, then it's always the excuse why they can't fight him. Now, I already then said, as far as Eris Larry Laura go, he should take that fight. He will be the best opponent on his resume. Whether he knocks him out or not, that's irrelevant. I'm not going to say that, um, I'm not going to say that, well, Eris Larry Lair was uh, too small for Triple G. It was the same as Juan Manuel Marquez when he was calling out Floyd Mayweather and all that type of shit. Yeah, yeah, Juan Manuel Marquez, he's going to beat the shit out of Floyd. Floyd is going to take an L. Okay, well then, soon as Floyd dominates Juan Manuel Marquez, then all of a sudden, oh, he was too small for Floyd, but he was the one calling Floyd out. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of times people try to have it both ways, you know, when it comes to their guy. Eris Larry Lara has been calling Triple G out. At least Eris Larry Lara will have a pulse and he will try to make a fight out of it. Now, can he get a decision against Triple G? Probably not. Even if he manages to finish the fight on his feet, um, I don't think he'll get a decision against Triple G. You know, I know people say he'll probably get knocked out and all this type of shit, but you never know, man. These one of these type of uh, fights that could have some surprises in it. You know, one thing about Eris Larry Lara, I've noticed this about his career, and it bothers me. Some fights he shows up, some fights he doesn't. I have to admit, I'm a Lara fan, but I have to admit, as a fan, sometimes he's inconsistent. You know, sometimes he seems he's into the fight, and sometimes he seems like he isn't. So, only, you know what I'm saying, time will tell, or only if this fight is made, we'll see. I mean, he might actually show up for the Triple G fight. You never know. So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, all this shit about that Triple G can just knock out everybody, that's a bunch of bullshit because it might be something to Triple G getting all these damn knockouts. Yeah, I said it. I don't give a fuck if you Triple G fans get mad. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, let's just keep it real. I mean, all this unstoppable force shit is a bunch of bullshit, man. I mean, anybody can be beat. I mean, and if you keep fighting the type of people that Triple G fights, you're going to look un invincible too. Or you're going to look uh, somewhat unbeatable. Just every fighter got some kind of flaws. And I have seen a lot of flaws in Triple G that can be exploited if he fight a certain type of fighter. But we already know that Triple G is selective about the type of guys that he fights. And that's no secret. If Floyd Mayweather was a super middleweight and he was like six feet, Triple G wouldn't want no parts of him. But because Floyd is a small guy and his two weight classes down from Triple G, yeah, of course they want to fight him. But then Triple G don't want to go up one fucking weight class, you know, after, after calling out certain guys. And then when these certain guys said, okay, well, let's make the fight, then, well, so, yeah, and I'm going to keep pushing it. 
like I said, you guys want to say that everybody's ducking them, and that's complete bullshit. I'm not, you, you guys can sit up there and try to push this narrative that, you know, that, you know, it was the other way around, man. We know for a fact Triple G is ducking fighters too, so let's just cut the bullshit, and that's the problem. Now, getting to this shit with white people getting on here saying, um, oh, black Floyd fans are racist towards Triple G. Well, first of all, uh, I don't like no white motherfucker trying to speak for the black community. First of all, if you a white motherfucker, don't try to speak for the black community because you a white motherfucker and you ain't black. And see, that's the problem. You guys listen to the to the clown and, and, and you know, listen to clowns like that dude. You know, the dude, the, the dude who don't know what color he is at times. Listen to clowns like him. And then y'all think y'all come on my channel and start talking that bullshit or other channels are just talking in general about that bullshit. Like I said, don't speak on, on my community if you're not from my community. Or you're not the same color as me. Because you ain't got that motherfucking right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better get off that Herman Cain shit. Now, I said this once again. I don't give a fuck about Triple G's skin color. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's funny. People sit up there and say, oh, um, you know, black... Black Floyd fans don't like Triple G because he's white. Well, here's the thing. I don't hardly see comments where you hear people say, fuck Triple G and fuck white people and fuck the uh, white race. But you sure as hell see comments, oh, fuck Floyd and fuck all black people. I guarantee you, you can find those comments. I can go to a few channels to find those kind of comments. So you motherfuckers is full of shit, as usual. Don't come on here trying to play that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's apples and oranges, man. The problem with Triple G fans is they act like Triple G is beyond being criticized to shit. Oh, don't say nothing about Triple G. That's not fair. That's not right, man. Everybody is fair game, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. The same way y'all criticize certain people, we have a right to criticize per certain people. Race ain't got nothing to do with this shit, man. Like, I'm just tired of hearing it. You want a dude that just really got hot about four years ago, you know what I'm saying, who basically built a resume knocking people out. Oh, he knocks people out. Well, who doesn't knock people out? There's always some knockouts and uh, some kind of knockout in boxing. So what's so special about Triple G's knockouts? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why most of you dudes are supporting Triple G is because he's Eastern European white. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason why. If Triple G was a black dude and had the resume he had, y'all would be on here talking that same shit, saying he hasn't fought nobody and his resume isn't that impressive. But due to the hype, you know what I'm saying, and the coverage he's getting, that's the only reason why y'all jumping on the bandwagon and shit. Because I could tell by some of y'all comments that y'all really don't watch that much boxing and that y'all only following Triple G is because the media is hyping this dude up. But at the same time, they protecting him. We already know that the media had a gag order along with HBO telling them not to even try to promote a possible fight with Triple G and Andre Ward. We already know it was a gag order. You know what I'm saying? And it was did on purpose. Don't bring up Andre Ward. Just dismiss the very fact. When Andre Ward said on HBO, when he was working as an analyst, he was interested in that fight. HBO and Triple G's team don't want that fight. See, they don't want to make the same mistake that they made with Kelly Papik. Kelly Papik was on his way to being a superstar. But unfortunately... He fell short when Bernard Hopkins got a hold of him. So they going to ride the Triple G uh, train as long as possible. I mean, I think Triple G is a good fighter, but he's yet to prove to be great. But you get these idiots, you know, the usual suspects trying to put this dude in the same category with Marvin Hagner. And that's just very offensive. That, that is just so disrespectful. He ain't even nowhere near the category of Marvin Hagner. And don't give me that shit about Marvin Hagner never moved up and 
Marvin Hagner never said he had fought anybody from 154 to 175 either. So that's the problem that I had with him. Once he said that, you know what I'm saying? That put him in line for people to call his bluff. Now, if he wouldn't have said that, none of this shit would have happened. Don't sit up there and say some shit you don't mean. When you say you will fight anybody, that means anybody. You know, Triple G doesn't have an unbeatable fighting style. The right type of fighter could decode the Triple G style. The right type of fighter. And I know what type of fighter it's going to take to beat Triple G. I know what fighters can beat Triple G. And I think Triple G's team know it too. And that's why they're hesitant to make those fights with those certain guys. Y'all can sit up and say Triple G and knock out this dude. He'll knock out that dude. Well, like I keep saying, if he can, why not do it? Like I said, you can't say you feared everybody's ducking you and nobody wants to fight you. But then when certain people say they'll fight you, then all of a sudden, oh, it's a A-side issue, it's a, a this type of issue. Then I hear these clowns talking this, oh, well, Lara's team need to make Triple G an offer. Well, wait a minute, why don't he make them an offer? Now, let me get this straight. So with Andre Ward, Andre Ward was the B-side, Triple G was the A-side. But now with Lara, Lara is the A-side and Triple G is the B-side. See, this is the inconsistency in you fans. And like I said, I know it's other people that like Triple G and support him. And that's fine. And I don't have no problem with that. But don't sit up there and lie and try to make it look like everybody and their mama is ducking this dude. Because that's just not that's just not true. I don't give a fuck who come on my channel talking that fake ass shit because I can debunk everything you come with. And I've had I've have done it and I'll do it again. I keep trying to tell you motherfuckers, man, you ain't talking to no motherfucker that just started watching boxing in 2012, 2013, who started watching boxing when Triple G came along. Like I told you, man, I got 30 plus years in this shit, man. I seen everybody fight. All of them. The best. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to sit and come on my channel and start talking that fake shit to me. So it is what it is, man. But stop saying this bullshit about, oh, black uh, Floyd fans hate Triple G because of this and that. Because like I said, I don't hardly hear nobody. I, I, I can't even remember seeing a comment where uh, a so-called black Floyd fan say, uh, fuck Triple G and white people. But like I said, I could find a whole bunch of comments. Fuck, fuck Floyd. Fuck black people. Fuck, uh, fuck the black race. So shut the fuck up, man. I'm out.